back in 2021 when I quit the corporate world, what was happening at the time was a push to get people back into offices. And I was very vocal on here about how that was bullshit and people who work better from home or are happier from home, as long as they're as productive as they were in the office, shouldn't be forced back to an office. And I had lots of reasons and I received a lot of hate. And one of the things that I think has happened since that time was a lot of this and this right here, what I'm about to show you is why I think so many CEOs and heads of organizations want people in the office because then they're not on film. Roll the tape. Get after it. Don't ask about what are we going to do if you don't get a bonus? Get the damn $26 million. Spend your time and your effort thinking about the $26 million we need and not thinking about what are you going to do if we don't get a bonus. All right. Can I get some commitment for that? I would appreciate it. I had an old boss who said to me one time, you can visit Pity City, but you can't live there. So people, leave Pity City, let's get it done. Thank you, have a great day. Yeah, if she had all her people in a boardroom, she wouldn't be blasted all over the internet for this. They all know that them speaking on a video call is not gonna stay in the walls of the boardroom anymore. And it's those walls of the boardroom that protect them from being exposed for all of their toxic, abusive behavior.